Batman might just need to crack the case as to why some of these hot takes exist because man, it blows my mind. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. So today I am reacting to your DC movie hot takes. Blue Beetle just hit theaters, so this was the perfect time to make this video. But before I react to these things, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below your DC movie hot takes, subscribe and hit that notification bell to help me reach my goal of 85,000 subscribers here on the channel and check out my Patreon link down below for extra content, access to the Discord server and more. All right, so I put up a post on my community tab recently and I got around 175 submissions. So I've been sifting through those and I got around 30 hot takes that I'm gonna talk about in this video. And I say we just go ahead and dive right into these things. So starting off, if my shirt didn't give it away, I think that the Batman is as good as the Dark Knight. And what it does better than the Dark Knight in one area is that the Batman is more of a Batman movie. I actually think that Batman is better than the Dark Knight as well. And in terms of the part of it being a better Batman movie, I sort of agree in terms of it being a full on detective story where we see Batman on the case and it feels like we're almost in his POV playing through an Arkham video game. That's why the Batman really excels for me. I loved playing those games growing up and so I definitely definitely think I agree here. The Batman is better because it just feels more distinctly Batman to me. The Dark Knight might be a better movie, objectively speaking, but the Batman is the ultimate Batman film in my mind. I think the first Shazam movie is underrated and doesn't get talked about enough. It is very funny, heartfelt. Zachary Levi is great. I love the friendship between Billy and Freddy. Mark Strong was also a great villain top three DCEU movie for me. It's definitely underrated. I don't know if it gets enough love. Like, I don't adore this movie, but it's a lot of fun, and it's really important to note it's the first time the DCEU took the risk, almost, of going from this dark, gloomy tone to a more lighthearted, family fun time, and it paid off for me. And I know the second one didn't, you know, perform as well, and people don't like it as much, but there's just something really charming about that first Shazam movie. It uh, definitely captures that childlike innocence in a way, and it makes you feel happy inside when you watch it. Don't hate that that one like a lot of people do. The Suicide Squad 2021 is the greatest DC movie ever and one of the greatest movies of all time. I will disagree with the last part. It's not one of the greatest movies of all time. I know that comes down to opinion, but just no way. No, no, no way. I love the movie, but no way is it one of the greatest movies of all time. And then uh, it's the greatest DC movie ever. I also disagree with you there. Now it is in contention for, I'd say top five. So that's not a crazy take, but there are a few that I have to put over in terms of greatest DC movie. It is top five, easily top 10 greatest DC films, but I can't outright say it's the greatest, and I definitely don't think it's one of the greatest movies ever. There are flaws, I adore it. It's like a four and a half out of five, but it's got some flaws that I remember. But that being said, James Gunn owns it with that movie, and it is the best DC EU movie, and it's really not even close. The Lego Batman movie, I'm gonna stop right there because I have never seen the Lego Batman movie. I know, I know, I'll watch it one day, maybe. Do you guys think I should? I've never seen any of the Lego movies. That's my dark secret I just revealed online. I've never seen a Lego movie. The Flash is a great movie. I think people hated on it mostly because of how overhyped it was by James Gunn and people who saw it early. The Flash is such an interesting scenario to me because this movie, more than any, I've probably can remember seeing in like the last 10, 15 years, had massive waves of overhype months before the film came out. So we all built up these false expectations in our head of it being one of the best comic book films of the century, people were calling it, literally. And it was just so far off the mark when we actually saw the movie that uh, I couldn't help but have been disappointed by it. Now that being said, take all that hype aside and just sort of dissect the movie itself, it's still very flawed. Uh, of course, people will harp on the CGI and rightfully so, it's distractingly bad at times. When there's two berries on screen and one of their faces looks distorted or even the final act where it turns into this big CGI mess and the plot gets nonsensical, those are all big issues. Uh, but like I mentioned, this movie could have been so much better and they just underused the best parts, really. Supergirl and Michael Keaton's Batman being the standouts. Of course, the movie had the production hell and all the behind the scenes drama with the stars, but other than that, the movie really has some great ideas, so I'll give it credit for that, but I disagree. I don't think that people, you know, are just going in and saying, oh, it stinks, just because people hyped it up. I genuinely think people went in and thought it would just be a good movie and they saw how bad it actually was. So maybe people are being a little harder on it because of that overhype, but nonetheless, I don't think people are that positive on The Flash for the most part, and rightfully so. Um, I wasn't crazy about that one myself. Moving on though, The Dark Knight is boring and overrated, and eh, disagree strongly. Rewatch it if you haven't in a while. I used to be on the train for like a month or so where I was like, maybe it's overrated. I was completely delusional, and it's far from boring. I mean, Heath Ledger's Joker's in a movie and you're gonna call it boring? What? Impossible. Batman 1989 is very overrated. Oh yes, I agree. Uh, the plot is absurd and the characters are lame. Seriously, tell me one thing that made Keaton stand out as a great Batman in that movie. 
I will say Keaton had his line delivery, you know, you wanna get nuts, let's get nuts. He had some lines that worked, so I'll disagree with that last part. But my God, is this movie overrated. It's not even like in the conversation for best Batman movie. Uh, it's such a wacky movie, and I've never been a crazy big Tim Burton fan. This movie further solidifies that for me. I just, I can't get on board with this super campy, almost irritating version of the character Batman and the, and the main plot with Jack Nicholson's Joker running around, singing to dancing to Prince. It honestly almost feels like a big old commercial at times for like the toys and just it I can't do it it's a very boring movie in my opinion and I've tried to watch this one a few times I've seen it probably three in my entire life and these are all in different stages of my life and each time I revisit it I'm like man I'm just never gonna like this movie so I've accepted it's very overrated a whole Dark Knight trilogy is insanely overrated strongly disagree it is uh perhaps the greatest trilogy ever put to screen that there's a conversation to be had there if anything it's becoming underrated by people online. I think people need to give it another go if they haven't in a while. That speedrunner guy says, James Gunn's Suicide Squad is overrated and mediocre at best. Strongly disagree here. If, if that's mediocre at best, then the rest of the DCU is horseshit. <laughs> This movie is fantastic and easily the best DCEU film in my opinion. The Snyder Cut is very overrated and a 7 out of 10 at best. Well, 7 out of 10 is not a bad score, but the Snyder Cut is very overrated, I agree. Craziest take on this video we'll talk about later regarding the Snyder Cut. But the Snyder Cut at best is just a fine movie. It's literally unjustifiably long. There's no need, reason it needs to have a runtime over four hours. Uh, one fourth of this movie is just post credit scenes setting up nothing. And while it is a step up from Justice League, that doesn't mean it's a fantastic movie. I think people confuse the two things. Like, you clearly have one cut of this movie that's terrible with the theatrical cut. This is a step up from that, but just because it improves on that one doesn't automatically make this movie the best thing since sliced bread, like so many people claim it to be. It's got a fantastic score at times, and that flash scene is riveting stuff, but all around, this movie is a slog. It's way too long. Has its moments to shine, but four hours? insanely long. The next one says, Man of Steel is overrated. The origin story is too long, a bit boring at times. The dark tone was unnecessary. I still thought the movie was great, but didn't love it as much as other people do. Now, I want to say this. I haven't rewatched this movie in years. I do remember loving the score. I do think the movie was a little too long, but for the longest time now, I've had it like A tier in terms of overall DC. I'm like, oh yeah, it's good. But I almost feel like that's unfair. Like, I feel like I need to rewatch this movie and really reevaluate my stance on it because I am addressing this movie with maybe expired thoughts. Like, it's been years, over five, six, seven, maybe even nine, eight years since I've seen this movie. It's been a long time, folks, so the fact that I'm talking about it so much but haven't seen it in a while, I might have to give this one a go again and see if it still holds up or do I hate it. Like, it could be a whole new viewing experience for me. Again, I still right now believe, at least, that I'm high on the movie and think that it's pretty good, um, but I, I don't know. I see some people say it's the best DC movie ever. That is overrating the film. Still very good in terms of the DCEU, though, I will say, and the casting was perfect, plus that score bumps it up at least one or two points, and it's like out of 10 grade. That score is immaculate. Uh, the next one says, the original Suicide Squad is better than Aquaman. Nope. The original Suicide Squad is an abomination to humanity and the worst DC film I've ever laid eyes on. DC should not make a DCEU connected universe and just stick to the Elseworld stuff and make Elseworld movies for the big heroes like Superman. I actually kind of dig this. Um, the Batman and Joker are two of the best DC films we've got in the past decade and they're not connected. They're Elseworlds properties. We're getting Joker 2. We're getting the Batman trilogy seemingly and that's all Elseworld stuff. So the Elseworlds has been super well written. It doesn't have the burden of trying to connect to a cinematic universe or be in this competition slash race with the MCU. And I think because of that, it inherently allows it to be better quality product. So I do think that I agree to a certain extent. Now, I would still love to see us get, have a proper build up to a Justice League film that's really good because we've never really gotten that. And I think James Gunn's vision is that like long term, he's going to come in, introduce Superman, Batman, kind of have them all do their thing individually until they team up, which is how it should be done authentically instead of rushing it like they did in you know 2017. But at the same time, and for the sake of the quality of the content we get, Elseworlds has been the go-to, and I think it will continue to be that for a while until James Gunn really comes in and, and gets the ball rolling with his DC universe. The next one says, Batman is the only reason I care about DC TBH. I really can't fault you for this. Uh, <laughs> the Batman is my favorite DC film in a long time. The Dark Knight trilogy is better than any other series of films within DC we've 
ever had. And Joker is technically an extension of Batman. So Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, Joker, and The Batman are probably five of my six to seven favorite DC films ever. Then you count in the animated DC stuff I've watched, The Dark Knight Returns, Long Halloween, Mask of Phantasm, all this stuff is Batman. Batman holds the most weight for me when it comes to DC, and whatever he's up to, I care the most about. I've never been a diehard Superman guy, Wonder Woman's cool, Flash is cool, Batman is far and away the best DC hero, and I do agree, I think Batman holds the most weight in terms of why I really care about DC, and that might be why they've fallen off the rails a bit, because they lost that. The Dark Knight Rise came out in 2012, and then we got BVS with Batfleck in 2016, but they never really gave us a solo Batman film until Pattinson's, which is Elseworlds technically, but the main DC timeline should always have Batman front and center, right? You would think that's not the case right now, and um, it's, it's cause for concern, I will say. Batman is critical to the success of DC, and I hope they get him right moving forward. That's all I can say. Next one says Birds of Prey is actually a pretty fun movie. 100% agree. I don't even know if that's a hot take. I like it. Apparently people don't. It's a really fun movie. And I'd say almost top five, six DCEU movies easily. Next one says Wonder Woman 84 is leagues better than Wonder Woman. Hell no. Wonder Woman 84 is a dumpster fire with one of the most nonsensical final plots I've ever seen. It makes no sense in the third act. Black Adam is the best DCEU movie. This is one of the more delusional takes I've ever seen. I think it was only said to get my attention. There's not a multiverse, universe, world, anything where this is actually true. This movie is so far from the best DCU film. It's crazy. Adam West is my favorite Batman. Uh, he's definitely not my favorite to each their own, obviously. Um, he is representative of that campy, classic, you know, 1960s show and movie. So if there's some nostalgia attached there, I get it, but he's definitely not my favorite or nowhere near the best, I think. Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods, the top three DC movie. Definitely gonna have to disagree here. I think the movie's overhated. Uh, it was a fun enough time, but very unmemorable, and I've kind of erased it from my memory since watching it, so the time always tells how a movie holds up, and Shazam! Fear the Gods has been pretty much wiped from my memory, so definitely not a top three DC movie. Shout out Jason Cruz. He says, Superman is the greatest superhero of all time. I disagree. I go Batman or Spider-Man over Superman. Again, I've never been the biggest Superman fan. I know a lot of people out there are. He's obviously probably the most iconic superhero ever. I think we can all agree. That being said, in terms of movies, they haven't really given us a Superman movie in so long, which is why I'm excited for Superman Legacy, but I've never really ventured out into other types of Superman media outside of films. I haven't played a Superman game or seen a TV show, and I've done that with Batman and Spider-Man, so it is what it is. The Flash was the best DC movie since The Dark Knight. That's so disrespectful to The Dark Knight Rises, The Batman, Joker, The Suicide Squad, the list goes on and on, Wonder Woman even, Man of Steel. I mean, The Flash was so underwhelming. And I do remember seeing a tweet that literally said The Flash is the best DC movie since The Dark Knight. How are we gonna dismiss The Batman like that? What? In terms of acting, Robert Pattinson did better than Christian Bale in the Batman role. Hell yeah, he did, and I'm excited to see what he does next. The Batman Part 2, easily one of my most anticipated upcoming films. Joaquin Phoenix is a better Joker than Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger still did a great job, but I feel like Joaquin did a better job with the character. So I've actually, on live streams before, gone back and forth on this. I think Heath Ledger's Joker clearly has the benefit of being with Batman because they kind of go hand in hand, whereas Joaquin is more of this character study on Arthur Fleck and his descent into madness in a way. Both are really well acted. I still have to lean Heath Ledger right now, but there's moments and times where I'm like, wait, Joaquin might have done a better job because he's doing this solo, there is no Batman, and he's just playing this character that's less like the Joker, more just someone who's kind of losing it. So it's a tough one for me, but I still would go Heath Ledger overall. They're both fantastic though, and easily the top two Jokers. Avatar Enthusiast says the Batman is the best DC movie. Hell yeah, I respect this take. I love this take, and honestly, I'm probably gonna agree with this take. The Batman rules. Man of Steel is the greatest DC movie ever. Definitely gonna have to disagree with this one. Again, haven't seen it in a few years, but it just doesn't hold a candle to the Dark Knight trilogy, the Batman, even Joker. It's a really good movie from what I recall, but it can't go that high in terms of overall DC films. The best of the DCEU is better than the best of the MCU. Let's let's take a step back. So the Suicide Squad, Man of Steel, Wonder Woman, better than Infinity War, Civil War, Iron Man, the Guardians trilogy, not even close. And I love some of the movies from DC that I just mentioned, but the best films from the MCU are some of the best comic book movies ever made. Infinity War Endgame alone is better than anything the DCEU has done, and again, not even in the same ballpark. Ben says, Blue Beetle will be a good movie, but it won't get any attention because the DC timeline is so weird, and the last DC movies weren't very good. So I have a full review of the movie you should check out linked up above and down below. But when it comes to Blue Beetle, this take was submitted before the movie actually came out. I've seen the movie now, and um, I think the movie's fine. I have issues I get into in my review, but I s unfortunately agree that it's might underperform at the box office just because of A, the time of year it's coming out, B, DC's timeline is so screwed up, but C, DC's track record 
has been so awful lately, people are like, I'm not gonna go see the new DC movie. I'll wait two or three months till it's on digital. On top of that, this is a new character. People aren't as inclined to go give a chance in the theater where they spend money to a new character. I mean, they didn't even show up for The Flash and they didn't really show up for Shazam 2, which was a sequel with an established character. I'm very interested to see how this one performs at the box office this weekend. Zachary says, Peacemaker is my favorite DC product. Hell yeah, I respect that. Peacemaker is a fantastic show. Better than any of the MCU Disney Plus shows for the most part. And um, it just took a character from the Suicide Squad, added so much depth to him, and James Gunn strikes again. Peacemaker's a big win for me. The DCEU as a whole is better than Phase 4 of Marvel. All the other phases crush it, though. I'm actually going to disagree. We got Spider-Man No Way Home and Shang-Chi in there. And some of the TV shows like Loki, actually a really good show. Falcon and Winter Soldier. That's better than the DCEU as a whole. The DCEU as a whole has a few really good projects, but the rest are so bad. Like, the low lows of the DCEU are some of the worst comic book films I've ever laid eyes on. Because of that, I'm actually going to disagree. And you guys know how I feel about phase four of the MCU, uh, but but really and truly, No Way Home is better than anything the DCU's done, so that alone kind of uh, takes the cake for me. I don't know if it's a hot take, but I say Ben Affleck is the best Batman we've gotten in live action. A lot of people share this same sentiment, and I think this could be the case if he ever got his own solo project and they actually did him justice. A lot of the times, he just didn't have his time to shine. He looked the part, he played the part well, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman, and he fully committed in terms of getting jacked and fighting Superman. The warehouse fight scene, we all know, we all love. We just didn't see enough of this character, and the right creative minds were never in control of this character. It's a damn shame, because it's a big what if. He could have been the best Batman ever, but with what we have, I can't make that statement. And the last and possibly most outrageous take on this list. Zack Snyder's Justice League is on par with Infinity War. No, and it's not even remotely close. Zack Snyder's Justice League is so overrated. I enjoy parts of that movie. I don't wanna go watch a four hour and three minute affair ever again, pretty much, no matter what it is. Infinity War is God tier. Zack Snyder's Justice League isn't in the same ballpark, same universe, same world, same thought. It's so far below it. I can't even go into how much better Infinity War is. To compare the two is insulting, honestly. Infinity War blows that movie out of the water. Whew. So that does it for me reacting to all of your DC movie hot takes. Let me know your hot takes to DC films in the comments down below, as well as your reaction to some of these featured in the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help me reach my goal of 85,000 subscribers here on the channel. It mean a lot. And thank you guys, as always, for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>